If we were to look 20 years into the future of transportation, what would we see? Predicting the shape of the future is far from a perfect science. Shakespeare called the future the undiscovered country. Yet a panel of experts at the recent Future of Trucking Symposium, hosted by the Transport Institute in Winnipeg, did their very best to explore that undiscovered country. This is what they saw. By around 2030, Canada's population will have grown by 5 million, and the country will be home to about 39 million people. But much of that growth will be dependent on immigration, and new immigrants tend to settle in urban areas. Cities will become even more densely populated than they are now. By 2030, Ontario's urban areas will be home to 15 million people, or about 40% of the Canadian population. With urbanization comes congestion. For goods delivery, that means continued constraints and costs going up and also a further push towards reducing emissions. Speaking of emissions, the panel's vision of the future also included a continually growing need for oil. The forecast was more than a 30% increase in energy demand by 2030 compared to today. A bit more than a quarter of that total energy demand would be from the transportation sector itself. And despite the current focus on alternative fuels, the panel saw petroleum-based fuel playing an even larger role in the energy consumption of 2030. As much as 50% of our energy consumption could come from petroleum-based fuel 20 years from now, compared to about 42% today. The cold reality is that there are 5.3 times as many people consuming 8.6 times as much energy today compared to 1850. And developing countries such as China and India want to consume energy at the same level that we currently do. With such dire energy challenges, environmental policy and regulation can only become a growing factor in shaping the transportation industry's future.